What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video I am bringing you guys yet another video that was actually requested from me. I've been getting uh, quite a few requested videos um, and this one is going to be talking as you can see by the title all about my skincare routine. Um, if you've known me for a while, if you've watched me on my channel, on my Instagram, on my blog, anywhere, you will have known that my skincare and my skin overall has drastically changed in these last couple of years. Um, I went from not really paying attention to really paying attention, um, trying to find products that work best for me, trying to find a routine that works best for me. Um, one thing I will stress is that even if these products work perfectly for me, they may not work perfectly for you. It all depends on your skin type, on your skin. Everything is just very, very um, dependent on the person. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I've used and products that I really go to, um, but don't take this as like, this is the golden rule to get your skin where it needs to be, because it's not. Everybody has a different skincare routine. Some people have to use brands or some people have to use skincare that is $100, other people can use skincare that's $2, and their skins both gradually get better. It all is variable. It just, it all depends. So I did want to say that. Um, also, I cannot be bothered to actually get the products out of my bathroom, which is <laughs> right there. Um, so I'm going to be putting the images on the screen. God help me when I'm editing this video. Um... Is that it? I think that's it. I don't create lists when I do these videos, so everything is going to be off of my head. If I forget something or if I remember something when I'm editing, I'll pop it on the screen and give you like a little blurb of why I wanted to talk to you guys about that product. Um, I think that's it. No, it's not. My eye look and my makeup. I did not record this look because why would I record this look? I mean, I, how was I supposed to know it actually come out halfway decent? I used my Natasha Denona Blue um, Purple Eyeshadow Palette. I used my Lorac Pro 2 and my Modern Renaissance on my eyes. Um, my lips was is my ABH Bittersweet Liquid Lipstick and my Lorac Lip Gloss and Goddess. On my cheeks, I used my Bite Beauty Lipstick and Rhubarb as a um, base. And then I used one of the shades in my ABH Trio to um, top that. Uh, I used everything else as Project Pan. So, yeah. Hopefully I'll remember all, everything else and that will all be listed down below. If not, my bizzles. We just gonna keep it pushing. Okay, so um, first I wanted to say, wait, let's get started. <laughs> so first I wanted to say that I started off, like I said, pretty, it was pretty rough. Um, Instagram has been playing me and they've been doing like these, this is what happened a year ago mm. and two years ago, mm. tragic, okay? But um, I started off, one of the first things that I purchased to add into my skincare routine was the TLC um, Glycolic Serum from Drunk Elephant. That was an amazing serum at really reducing all the acne that I had and really just treating my skin um, to its very core. So as expensive as that product is and as much as people may not want it, I would say um, potentially that might be a really good choice for you. Towards the end, uh, when I go through my current uses of products, I will give you guys some alternatives to that product. Um, another product that I used at the very beginning when I was starting it my skincare together was the um, Glam Glow Super Glow Mask. It's the one in the white container. I really enjoyed that. The only reason I stopped purchasing it is because it was expensive and because a friend told me that the ingredients are really bad and so I kind of just felt like eh, I don't want to put really bad ingredients on my face. You know what I mean? But regardless of how good or bad the ingredients may have been, I'm telling you, if I put that mask on when I had um, like a new breakout, that breakout was pretty much gone within 48 hours. And between that and that serum, what is happening with my eyes? Between that and that serum, 
that was really beneficial for me at a time where I had pretty not pretty aggressive um acne because it wasn't really aggressive but I have a lot of like under the skin acne so it was just just annoying um I'm trying to think those are pretty much the two main objects that I could like distinctly remember getting I've never been really big in like distinguishing between my like cleansers for me a cleanser is a cleanser I just needed to be a first step to get the makeup off my face or to get the dirt off my face and then all of my other products are really the ones that I really get into the nitty-gritty um Throughout these last two or three years, I have definitely tried out a lot of, I would say, more moisturizers and than anything. That has been the one um, category in my skincare that I have been a lot more um, exploratious. Is that is that even a word? Adventurous <laughs> when it comes to the products that I use. A lot of the times, it's mainly because I run out of the moisturizer before I buy another one, and so I have like all these samples. And then if I enjoy the sample, I'll get a full size, and then I'll find something else. So that's been that. Um, toners. I've never really been a huge yay or nay. I kind of whatever the toner is although I did went through a phase where my toners were not doing well and they were actually drying out my skin so I did have to go into the the rose the one that re went really popular that rose hydrating toner I'll have it thrown up on the screen um and that did help I didn't find it extremely hydrating I think it was more of just the fact that I was not using the toner that was drying out my skin um yeah that's kind of an overview on like what I did at the beginning to kind of get my life together um now let's go into products that I have been using and intend to repurchase oh the other thing another a cleanser that I actually did use that I do recommend is the Mario Badescu combination acne combination cleanser that's a really good no fuss no muss cleanser so that cleanser does not have any scent to it um and it doesn't bubble up necessarily like I would enjoy but it's basically a no fuss like this is the bottom this is this is the baseline in my opinion so if you do have a really bad um acne and you're very sensitive I would highly recommend that line I know I went to Ulta during this phase of like trying to get my life together when it came to my skincare and I was recommended Dermalogica child no I tried the 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 powder that mixes and yet you, you I don't know what it is if I can figure it out I'll put it on the screen um, I tried that I immediately broke out immediately got bumps under my skin it was tragic so I definitely took that back um and I definitely never went back into that line it was just your girl is good um but yeah I definitely would recommend the Mario de Badescu that cleanser specifically that's the only thing I really tried I've tried their like spray I think I had like their rose spray at one point it's fine I, whatever I used it when I wanted to like spray my face for whatever reason um but I would highly recommend that Mario Badescu cleanser I would okay so now kind of gearing into where I was trying to get into which was products that I recommend I typically have about two to three products in each category um I have a lot of categories depending on how your girl is feeling at the night and in the morning I don't actually use all categories but I do like to tell you guys what all I have in each category. So typically I only cleanse at night um, with a cleanser. I do not cleanse in the morning. I just can't be bothered. I don't, I know. Um, so cleansers that I have been enjoying to taking, for taking off my makeup, it is the, um, the Fresh. Is that the brand? Fresh? I think it's Fresh. It's probably not Fresh. <sighs> Okay, okay, I'm gonna go to get that so I can figure out the name. That's the only product I'm doing this for. Child, it's pharmacy. I don't know where I'm going through, but um, the pharmacy green um, uh, melting away, that is an awesome, 
awesome um, uh, makeup remover. So if you do have makeup, um, whether it's in the morning or at night that you're trying to remove, I would highly recommend that. Um, it is expensive, but I don't have to use very much to get my whole face off. Um, so maybe don't overuse and you're able to get more uses and more um, bang for your money. Okay, so we've already taken off our makeup if you're using it but like I said specifically I use that at night because I only take off makeup at night but some people have you know night overnight shifts so they wear makeup overnight anyways okay cleansers um I have two cleansers that I would like to recommend like I said that Mario Badescu um acne cleansing one I would recommend that and I use that when it's like yeah, I will feel like cleansing my face, but I don't have anything that I really need to like get off of my face. You know what I mean? So that's like a no fuss, no muss. Like I have no makeup on that day. I just want to remove the dirt for me. The one that I like use to like really, really get up in my skin. Why can I not remember any names of anything? Oh my God. Um, We're just going to go to my order history because I just recently repurchased this yes okay it's the body shop online it's the body shop seaweed deep cleansing wash or whatever i purchased this because i was trying to be cheap and it was one of the uh cheapest but most intriguing cleansers i thought it was actually going to have seaweed like particles in it so i thought it would give me some exfoliating action it does not it is purely like a gel um cleanser which is fine it does suds up it does sud up which i enjoy it can agitate my eyes if my eyes are open so do keep that in mind so i would not recommend removing your eye makeup with that i would definitely recommend removing your eye makeup with that um that pharmacy thing that I said earlier but it is an awesome makeup remover sometimes like right now um, I'm trying to get through like samples so and when I was using that product I was trying to get through it just because it been in my collection for so long so I was using that as a two-step routine to cleanse my face so I would use it for a first step to remove my makeup and then the second step to actually cleanse my face so you don't necessarily have to get like an actual makeup melter or a remover to really get your uh, makeup off I would just say use your cleanser twice um, to really make sure that you really clean off the top of your makeup and all of your makeup really and then cleanse again to really make sure you get into your pores to remove everything and anything um so those are my two main cleansing um options like i said i'm not a huge like cleanser person but those are the two that i have found and i pretty much stuck to um i don't have the mario badescu cleanser right now but i do intend to get it i have a couple of cleansers right now so i'm trying to get through those samples okay next for moisturizer like i said this is the category that i have definitely experimented a lot more with um some that pop off my head right now is the belief oh which one is it it's the it's not the cream maybe the moisture bomb yeah it has to be the moisture bomb the belief moisture bomb um, moisturizer is fantastic I love it because it not only hydrates my oily combination skin but it it penetrates my skin in such a quick manner that I don't have to wait a whole year and a day to put on my next step which is honestly fantastic so i really enjoyed that the um what is it one day i'm gonna get my life together and actually make a list uh, <laughs> hold on hold on does it tell you something that i keep going to my bathroom to look at the names of the ingredient or the items but i don't actually bring it out okay so <laughs> the glow recipe um watermelon moisturizer i got that in a kit over christmas time and i really did enjoy that moisturizer it really does hydrate your skin and really sink into your skin i would definitely say that the belief sinks in faster because the glow recipe it feels like it has like a oil in it just a little bit so it takes a little bit longer for it to sink into your skin but i enjoy both um i also enjoy i have a sample right now of a corez moisturizer it is really really nice it's definitely more of a cream texture the other two are more gel like but it does sink into my skin in a pretty quick 
uh, rate. So I really do enjoy that moisturizer. And then there's one that I had from Garnier. Um, it was like a moisturizer and sunscreen. I don't even know if they still sell it. If they do, I will have it on the screen. Um, that was a fantastic uh, moisturizer and I would say that's definitely been my favorite drugstore moisturizer. I did just recently purchase some CeraVe products so I'm going to be trying those out. I haven't been able to get into them because I'm still trying to get through my samples but that's going to be the next drugstore brand that I give a shot. Um, have I tried a moisturizer from Pixie? I don't know if I tried a moisturizer from Pixi, but I will link above my Pixi review. I reviewed all of the products that I tried from Pixi. I just can't remember, to be honest, if any of those products were a moisturizer. Either way, all of my Pixi items will be up here. And if I did try a moisturizer, whatever I said in there, take it as, take it as still how I feel right now. Okay. Um, next, I, I skipped a step. I skipped two steps good lord okay after cleansing I go into toning like I said I'm not a big person when it comes to toning I did try that rose toner which will be on the screen right now because I can't be bothered to think of the name but the one that I'm currently using right now is the elf toner and that that is an essence what am I using right now So right now I am using the Murad Hydrating Lotion. I've been sticking to purchasing hydrating um, toners just because like I said I had that one experience where the toner was like clarifying and it really dried out my skin. So I really have been sticking to more hydrating uh, toners and that's all I can really say. The Murad Toner is fine. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not excellent either but I don't think I'm the person who really can give you guys a really good like this is the best toner in life because I don't really find toner to be very exciting I think the next toner I'm gonna try after that one is the Ordinary's toner um just because I've been slowly getting into the brand um but yeah toner is not a huge step for me now next I have is Essence. Um, I have tried now two essences I want to say only. The first one was my Pixie Essence. Ugh. That essence is like the best thing on earth. It is like a gel um, but it has suspended in it like beads of like hydration. <sighs> I love that essence but that essence is expensive it is like $22 and I'm pretty sure I went through that container easily in three months and that's with me switching to not using it day and night I started to only use it in the day I do prefer to use toner essence day and night so I think what I might do I might become a little high maintenance and I might get my pixie essence to use during the day and then use or no I'm gonna use that at night and then use my elf essence during the day the one thing I really enjoy about the elf essence is that what I do is I take a really small amount it's like a very liquidy product um, with a huge amount for a very cheap and what I do is I kind of pounce it into my skin um, and when you pounce it into your skin you get like a sticky um, feeling which is really good because then you put your moisturizer on top so I really do enjoy that essence from elf but I really in love my um, essence from pixie so I think I'm gonna try and do that um, I don't mind going through two different uh, skincare routines during the morning and night as long as I'm getting through the products and actually using the products from my collection so that's that I've already gone through a whole spiel about my moisturizers because I guess I was just so excited um, next is serums so depending on the day and depending on if it's day or night I have different serums during the day I have a vitamin C that vitamin C serum is basically meant to prevent my skin from being harmed from um, the UV rays from the Sun um, so I have tried two no I've tried three vitamin C serums since starting this skincare situation I've tried the drunk elephant 
see tango i don't know what it is i've tried the drunk elephant serum i have tried the ola henriksen serum and then i have tried the the ordinary serum okay the drunk elephant serum i have only tried samples because your girl just can't i just can't i'm not a huge fan of it it does come out um how would i describe it it comes out like a serum no it doesn't come out like a serum because it's it comes out like a moisturizer it comes out like a cream um and it does have like a a slight orangey tint to it um i i have no problems with it but i don't see any like huge huge benefits from it at either so that's why i haven't really splurge to buy the full size and that the old Henriksen um serum I have gone through what I think three or four of the big daddy um versions I enjoy that tremendously I can basically get through the big daddy one in about six months so generally I would repurchase it every VIB sale um and just keep it pushing but recently like i've said in other videos i've been trying to reduce the price of my skincare and so i did purchase the um the ordinary vitamin c serum um i did their 30 percent suspension i want to say i will have the title on the screen because your girl don't know that by heart um i think it's good i think it's it definitely has a tingling sensation so if you are not into any form of tingling on your skin do not don't do it to yourself okay um because there are some mornings where i'm like oh, i am awake now thank you very much the ordinary um but it does do a really good job in my opinion it does kind of smooth out my pores at the same time so if you like to wear makeup and you don't want to use a smoothing primer that might be um, a version of a smoothing primer for you the only downside I would say really for me is that it can have the tendency to ball up a little bit if you over blend it kind of has the texture like the Becca Evermatte primer so if you ever tried that you know that you cannot like over blend and really smooth that in you don't want to smooth it in in circles you want to press that primer in and I would say pretty much the same thing for the vitamin C um uh serum from drunk elephant another uh kind of con to that is that it is ashy on my complexion so if you don't go in like if you're my complexion and you don't go in with a um uh, a sunscreen on top of that you are gonna look obscenely ashy the whole day all day nothing but the day okay so um yeah but otherwise i don't mind it and i think i will go back and forth between my old Henriksen and my um the ordinary uh vitamin c serums because i like them both i'll probably just strictly only buy the um the old Henriksen serum during the vib sales like i said and then in between i might use the ordinary one and then back and forth i like i said i always like to have about two of each category and currently i only have one so i will be purchasing the old henriksen serum when the vib sale comes which is coming very very soon um so the last step in my day routine um just to kind of end that routine would be my skin what my sunscreen the sunscreen that i like the best is from super goop it is this one so i really want to try their mattifying sunscreen but because of how huge this tub is i cannot justify purchasing the mattifying sunscreen right now um so i really enjoy this sunscreen it feels very moisturizing but it really does a good job at in my opinion blending into my skin i have no like ashiness you can't really tell i'm wearing sunscreen other than the fact that it does make my skin very sheeny very oily um so typically what i've been doing lately is i've been going then in with a 
primer to wear over that sunscreen. The primer purely being there just to keep my skin more mattified. Um, and lately I've been using my Fenty Beauty Po Pro Filter Primer just because that's more of a lotion consistency as well. It smooths into my skin and it doesn't, um, you can't tell that I'm wearing that primer unless you ask me, are you wearing that primer? Um, so that's kind of the end of my day routine. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like all types of everywhere under the sun, but let's kind of pick up, um, back off with our night routine. So in the night routine, I do everything that I said prior, but when it comes to the serum, I use different serums. Um, so I have gone through a couple of serums actually. So like I said, I started off with that TLC Drunk Elephant Serum. Then I went to Pixie's glycolic serum I want to say it's glycolic because that's the best uh, serum for me that's another thing so um, I would say that in my opinion and in my experience skin your skin only reacts to glycolic or ascorbic acids um, I don't think and I'm pretty sure that's the right term ascorbic I'm pretty sure um, my skin does not react to both if glycolic acid is not in the um, serum or the mask or whatever type of treatment I'm trying to put on it, my skin's not going to react to it. Um, so I stick to more glycolic acids um, and those from what I can tell are the harsher acids. So that as you will. But like I said, I do have sensitive skin so yeah. Anyways, okay, so I've tried the TLC Drunk Elephant Glycolic Acid. I've tried the Pixie, I believe it's called the Glycolic, no, it's the Glow, Glow Skin recipe, but that has glycolic acid in it. And currently I am using a combination of two acids from The Ordinary, which are... Sephora app to the rescue. <laughs> um, what? What is this? No. So I'm trying their ascorbic acid. So maybe that's not the right name. Chow, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just stupid. I, no, I'm just stupid. I just bought an acid. Anyways, right now I'm trying the Ordinary's Ascorbic Acid and Hyaluronic Acid. Um, the Hyaluronic Acid is really going to help to um, help your skin to absorb the moisture from the um, atmosphere and any other products that you put on. And then the Ascorbic Acid is like a lesser version of glycolic acid. Um, and so basically my mindset when it comes to serums is I don't mind having honestly three serums in rotation. In my mindset, the ordinary serums are both one because they both do the same thing that the other two serums would do. Um, so I think those are two decent serums. I have only been using them for a couple of weeks, so I can't really give you guys full impressions on them but as of right now they're fine my skin has not gotten worse in any way um so they're good at keeping your skin standard um the pixie um glow tonic situation yeah, it's the glow tonic serum i want to say that is like a lesser version of the tlc glycolic acid so if you are not sure if you can handle the strength and the potency of the tlc glycolic acid i would highly recommend you get the pixie glow tonic serum that serum is bomb.com it is going to sting you sis I'm not gonna lie. It's like another one of the ordinary vitamin C suspension serums. That thing gonna get you. It gonna get you good. But the stinging in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, is just proof that it's actually working on your skin. So it does not bother me at all. Um, and then I have my TLC. Currently in my collection, I only have the two ordinary serums and the and the TLC. I have not opened the TLC just because I haven't needed it. So I don't want to open it if I don't need it. Um, but I probably will pick up another Pixi Glow Tonic just because I did enjoy it. Um, and like I said, it was like a cheaper version and a slightly less um, abrasive version of the TLC glycolic acid. Okay. 
So after I put on my acid, I like to put on now a sleeping mask. The sleeping mask, I feel, gives you even an additional version of hydration. And even though I have combination skin, I basically have oily skin because <clears throat> that part of my face is not getting enough moisture it's not getting enough water so it's producing excess um oil to compensate um so i like to give myself as much hydration as i can um and so i've been using a couple of uh um uh, sleeping mask um, the one I'm currently using is from glow recipe do not get that that thing is oily and just mm, don't get it do not get it the one glow mask or the sleeping mask that I would recommend is from belief again I loved that sleeping mask to death and as soon as I'm done with this stuff from glow recipe I will definitely be going back to that one and I will definitely be purchasing that in the VIB sale as well um have I tried any other glow sleeping mask no that's the only two sleeping masks that I've tried um so I can only give you that one recommendation I'm sorry about that um the one thing that I haven't talked about and I've kind of glazed over is eye mask at one point I was using um eye mask I meant eye moisturizers at one point I was using eye moisturizers because my eyes specifically my under eyes were very very dry this once again was when my skincare was getting good but it was not where it is right now right now I do not need an eye cream at all or an eye moisturizer but if you need one I would highly recommend the belief eye cream I know I'm like really going in on belief products but their products are really good they're like a gel consistency but they pack a lot of hydration and moisturization and for my combination oily skin it's perfect because you want that hydration and moisturization but the gel texture allows it to dry and sink into your skin a lot quicker so I would stick to those products specifically for the sleeping mask and the eye mask if you're interested I did just finish a youth to the people um I've tried a youth to the people eye cream and one other eye cream if I can find it in my Sephora purchases I will put it on the screen both of those left a little bit to be desired you had to use way too much product to get the moisturizing feeling and I was just not about it so yeah um last step um in my daily sort of night and day routine is oil I like to put an oil on top of all of that skincare that I put on at night to really seal it in um I haven't tried very many oils uh, off of the top of my head I've tried a glow glow oil from pixie which I thought was okay I wasn't like here or there about and I'm now currently using two oils from um, the ordinary um, I'm using the B oil combined with the um, what's the other oil The B oil combined with the rose hip oil. Now, when I say combined with, when it comes to oil, I only use one or the other. Your girl don't need that much oil. But I like to put an oil on, like I said, to really just seal it in, kind of like the um, proof method when it came, comes to natural hair. If you are a 4C girl, you know what I'm talking about, um, or a 4C guy. Um, so that is kind of my long-winded day and night care routine when it comes to my skin currently when it comes to masks or really treatment items i would recommend the pixie glow tonic mask i thoroughly enjoy that there is a oh there's another product let me get the name of that because i really enjoy that one as well So that um, Pixie 
glow mask is like a clay mask so it is like a um, gray mask you kind of swipe it on your face or blend it into your face however you want to get it done and it will dry onto your face and once you wipe it off your skin just feels nice and smooth and light and it feels clean and it looks cleaner to me another kind of dry down mask that i think is good um and i don't think the ingredients are terribly bad is the old Henriksen um hydro cool the cooling one the one that cools and it's blue I'll put it on the screen that I got that as a sample I got it from one of those you know the points not the points where you put in the code at Sephora I got a couple of those and I do enjoy that mask that's the one mask that I'm close to panning right now I am trying to get through my mask because I have quite a few masks um, open so that's one of the masks that I'm trying to get through and then the last mask that I would recommend it's not a clay mask it's a gel but it it's like a mask it's a treatment if you will and it is the Bosha oil treat I don't know what it is I will put it on the screen it it comes off like a very liquidy product um, and what I tend to do is I put a little water in my hand and then what you do is you rub it on your face like you rub it into your face like you're using a cleanser and it will literally pull up all the dead skin it is just a fascinating little fascinating little mask I have never heard anybody talk about it the only reason I know about it is because I got it as a sample and some random thing I don't know you guys you know we get so many samples from different places you never know where you got it from but that is a one thing that I will definitely be repurchasing um, I've tried many masks mini mask and if you don't mind that ingredients are not the best I would recommend the glow what did I call it glow tonic the glam glow super mud mask because it really did help to clarify my skin but I don't think the ingredients are all that good um and honestly the pixie glow tonic mask reminds me of that mask except it does not have any granules in there so you aren't really exfoliating while you're detoxing you're just doing the detoxing part so yeah I have been talking for a really long time I need something to drink. Oh, oh, oh. I have something. Really love Hydro Flask. And if you didn't know, I have decorated my Hydro Flask with stickers from an obscene amount of makeup brands. And this is my favorite sticker. And it says, I like makeup more than I like people. So so me if you know me <laughs> um but yeah I think that's all for my skincare routine I mean of course working out the way you eat drinking a lot of water I think that's one of the things that a lot of people especially in my generation and younger do not understand and really fully use is the fact that you need to drink a lot of water even if you don't exercise even if you don't eat healthy foods or even things that are good for you if you do not drink water your skin is gonna shout okay um but i think those are all of the suggestions and things that i have to say i'm sorry this video is long i don't even know how long it is i've been talking for a while i think we're going on 40 minutes um so i am just gonna say goodbye thank you for pulling through this one if you did and yeah it has been real y'all peace